here is the E175 Razor electric scooter available from Target also available from Amazon but a bit pricey there uh, let's talk about the charging here here's the charger right here and when it's green it does not necessarily mean that it's fully charged basically with the charger uh, you must uh, charge it a minimum of 12 hours but no more ma no more than a maximum of 24 hours now when you first put the charger in uh, you're going to I'm going to show this for you here well the charger pretty much goes into this port on the side on the left side of the scooter next to the on and off switch there like right here you just pull it right out there we go and let's uh let's just reinstall this charger so you guys can see okay so here's our oops where's the outlet my hand is covering the outlet okay here we go there's the outlet here and then you put in the charger like so and it should first actually be red when it's disconnected i'm not sure why it's showing green actually yeah actually i'm sorry it's first supposed to be green when you first charge it and to let you know the charge is okay and then you plug it in keep in mind that this is probably fully charged by now but you plug it in there's a little notch i don't know if you can see it there at the bottom of this cord connector there and that fits this notch let's see that little notch there at the bottom below the three prongs so you fit it in like that there you go and now normally this charger would turn red indicating that the uh, scooter needs to be charged but here it's already fully charged it would it's already green but what what normally would happen is it would stay red and then it would turn green but however even though it turned green that doesn't necessarily mean that it's fully charged you're supposed to charge it by time a minimum of 12 hours after use maximum of 24 hours um, this is also similar to we have another razor here a pink one e100 it charges up the same way um, after you first get it you do have to do a full charge um, they say actually recommended the first full charge should be 24 hours though and what else can i show you here uh, we got a front brake here you can see this front brake it controls the braking right down here and this is a pneumatic wheel this is actually an air filled wheel it has a Schrader valve right there I can get that in there there's that Schrader valve okay urethane wheel in the back here there's that urethane wheel and it goes up 10 miles an hour it's pretty fast it depends on the weight of the rider the recommended weight is actually listed on the side here i believe it's 125 take a look at that yep it's uh, actually it's 120 uh 120 pounds maximum rider weight limit heavy riders may cause damage not covered by warranty and then there, there it goes again the battery must be charged for at least 12 hours do not overcharge tires must be inflated i had i've got two different scooters and the tires were pretty inflated but you know you can just feel the tire with the hand or get a pump or a tire gauge and check but these tires are in pretty good condition here's where you use the uh, trigger you kind of go like this and it'll start moving but that it will only start moving after you get it going past three miles per hour so you got to give it a good cook give it a good kick and then you trigger it like this and that'll get it going there's also a limiter here you can see see it, it limits how far this uh, steering can be turned here it's about 45 degrees that's to prevent an action obviously if you're going pretty fast and you just turn it real fast like this you're gonna flip over or something like that scooter it's not you know super light it's not recommended to just use without a, the electric motor 
but it's not super heavy. It's in, it fits in the can fit in the trunk of a car. In fact, I was able to get two of these to fit in the trunk of the car. This is the E175 here. Uh, normally, Target sells that cheaper than Amazon, but I do have an Amazon link below for anyone who's interested. There's the E100. Uh, I haven't noticed any difference between the E100. This is my E100 right here. The E100 and the E175. Pretty much, they go at the same speeds here. This is called a sweet pea over here. The E100. They pretty much go at the same speeds charge the same way you know everything designed the same sweet pea is a color is better pink and stuff sweet pea is available from Kohl's and Amazon E100 um what else can I tell you about this thing these uh these could go over pretty well over cracks and bumps because they got that big that they got that pneumatic wheel um so usually it's not a problem of course have your child wear safety helmet and whatever safety precautions you think your child may need. Uh, it's pretty easy to get going. My child got it, uh, got the hang of it within, what, less than a minute. So it's not, and it's not that uh, difficult. All right, so uh, that's all I got to say about it. Uh, Woad up and uh, subscribe. Thanks. Just...